Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com and EatingThaiFood.com. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and tonight for dinner I am at a seafood restaurant called Hua Pla Chong Non Si, which is right along the busy uh, Rama 3 Road. This is a gigantic restaurant, a massive dining room, and kind of an outdoor, it's kind of like it feels almost like you're in a like an outdoor open air garage in here. The dining environment is fantastic and the kitchen is situated on the side of the dining room which is like equally as big as the dining room and there are a small army of chefs cooking up delicious seafood and so Ying and I have just ordered a couple of their signature seafood dishes, Thai seafood dishes and getting ready to dig in for dinner. All the food has just arrived and I am getting the steam from the fire pot in my nostrils right now and it smells delicious. And this is probably their most signature dish and something you definitely have to order when you come here. Uh, this is their version of Tom Yam, uh, but it is, it is the clear version and it is served in a fire pot, which in Thai is called directly a fire pot, which is a, a pot with actual hot coals, oh that's hot, uh, which is actually hot coals in the middle. And then we got the version with bakao, which is grouper. And so I think the first thing I have to do is just taste the, taste some of the broth. Let me dip into that. There's cilantro on the top. I can see a lot of chilies floating around. Oh, 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 that has a nice chili heat to it. I can feel that like slightly burning going down my throat and then it's nice and sour and I can taste kind of that fish like richness but not not fishy but it has that like fish oil richness to it oh and before digging into the rest of the food I'm just gonna dump my rice onto the plate oh and okay all comes out nicely okay. I'm gonna go in for a piece of the fish oh there's cabbage let me get a piece of that fish and I'm gonna set that onto my rice and there are two different sauces which are supposed to be eaten with the fish and I think this one is more of a fermented soybean sauce and this one looks more like a Thai seafood sauce so I think I'll go for that seafood sauce first and then apply this onto the fish and I will break that fish into two bites go with some of the cabbage Oh, that's nice and sour. Oh, really good sourness to it. Um, the sauce, oh, actually maybe some of the sourness is also coming from that sauce, which has a really nice lime juice flavor and also a nice, um, almost a nutty flavor as well. Okay, let me try that other sauce now for the next bite of that fish. Oh, and that one has some nice chopped chilies and also it has raw garlic in it. That sauce is good too. Yeah, you can definitely taste that, a little bit of that fermented salty bean taste. And then I love that slice of raw garlic and those slices of raw chilies too. And we also ordered their Neapu Pad Pongari, which is a Thai style yellow curry with egg. And then oftentimes you'll see this dish made with the full crab with the shell, but we got the version uh, that just has Neapu, which is shelled crab. And if you just look at this from afar, I thought it reminded me like of the top of a pizza. It has like the, the kind of yellow oil around the side. And yeah, it looks like someone slid the top of a pizza right off onto a plate with no crust. Oh, but this looks awesome. And I will, oh, looks like there's a bunch of chopped up green onions in there. There are pieces of crab and then all that egg and yolky curry going on. Okay, it is a little bit sweet and the, the curry powder flavor is a little bit mild but those little nuggets of boneless or shellless crab are fantastic and I got that little bit of a crunch from the green onion and yeah that's good I think I think I could use a little bit of a stronger curry powder flavor but the, the overall dish is awesome and actually 
my my thought of it looking like a like a pizza the top of a pizza all the cheese and ingredients and toppings just being slid off the crust and onto a plate it sort of tastes like a bunch of melted cheese but with chunks of crab in it and then this one is enhoi pad cha which is um I believe in English it is just the tips or the heads of the the tops of scallops and then it's stir-fried with uh, pad cha style so it has finger root there are peppercorns in here there are chilies there are um, there's basil and yeah this looks good oh look at all that look at all that herbation and pick that up all right Oh yeah, that is my flavor. I love those like jungle herbs and then the, that combination, just a, a beautiful herbaceous kind of earthy and yeah, like earthy taste to it. Um, and then those scallops, they're, they're almost like, they're almost like chicken breast except a little like smoother, silkier. Uh, but that's, yeah, that's fantastic. That's that's a great flavor in that dish. Okay, and then one of my favorite vegetables is uh, pakashe, which is water mimosa. And this is stir-fried up with chilies and with garlic. Okay, put that, put that onto my rice. I'm gonna grab a few more of those. I'm gonna try to grab a bit more of those chilies and garlic on there. Oh, ho, ho. oh and I can smell that like stir-fried wok aroma to it. That is excellent. And pakashet, the water mimosa. It is such a, a delicious tangly vegetable. And what I really like about it is the texture. Uh, but they are using the young water mimosa, so it, it's not too chewy, but it kind of snaps when you take a bite. Uh, really good. And yeah, that has a nice wok, kind of smoky flavor to it. Lots of garlic and lots of chilies in there. I am just enjoying this meal and slowly slurping down all of that tom yum. Uh, but Ying got hot sitting here and so she, uh, while we're still eating the normal food, she decided to order dessert. And so I'm just gonna test her dessert um, in the middle of the meal. Okay, I will come back to this plate after this. Uh, in Thai it's called Salat Loi Keao. And basically uh, the fruit, it's a fruit um, which is snake fruit. And I think it's just candied and then covered in ice or it looks like ice is frozen around it. Maybe some syrupy stuff. Uh, but I will try to... Oh man. I will try to break off a piece. Oh, I don't know if it's possible. Oh, the seeds are... Okay, actually the seeds are removed and it's just filled with... Filled with ice. There we go, I got a little piece of that fruit and... Hold on. Oh yeah, it looks like... Uh, actually, um, there's, there usually are big dark seeds, big brown seeds in the middle of the fruit, but it looks like the seeds are removed and then it's just filled with like slushy ice. Mm. Oh, that is really cold though. Um, yeah, snake fruit has kind of a, I like to compare snake fruit to kind of a fermented apple taste. It tastes like an apple that has gone bad, but in a really good way. Um, and that, it definitely has a little bit of an extra like candied flavor to it. It's not too sweet um, over just the normal fruit, uh, but just maybe a little bit. And maybe it has just a little bit of a, a light fragrance in that ice. Dinner is finished. Everything was pretty good. The crab curry was a little bit on the sweet side for me, uh, but I think my favorite dish was definitely the tom yum. Really good flavor. Uh, they got the sourness down perfectly and good fresh fish in there. And I love, yeah, anything served in a Thai fire pot with charcoal right in the middle uh, is one of my favorite. That's one of my favorite styles of a pot. This restaurant, Hua Pla Chong Non Si, they have a number of locations around Bangkok, but this is the original location, um, the birthplace of this restaurant. So I think this is the best location to come to. And yeah, a good place to come and have seafood when you are in Bangkok. And I will write all about this restaurant over on eatingthaifood.com. 
Uh, so you can go check that out if you are interested in more information about this restaurant and more photos. And other than that, I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you on the next food video.